Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another... no. New. <laughs> new. Uh, I get into such a habit. Like, another episode. Another another thing. No, this is a new another thing. Sako Loco Deluxe. Uh, yeah. I found this one the same way I found the Stacklands of Sock Pop. It was, um... Chit-chatting in the Discord server, I was like, I'm still craving games that aren't, like, crazy complex world conquering. I've been playing a lot of Stellaris lately, and I like Stellaris a lot, but it's a different bucket, and this is a bucket that I need filling too. Like, I need sustenance, and I need simple, or at least playful. Can I... Oh, hell yeah. No, this is, this is the whole game now. <laughs> easily, easily, uh, amused, right? Stack a little tower, right? <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, uh, enough farting around, right? Um, simple train management game? Uh, get goods from A to B, whatever? Um, uh, on the Steam page it says it's a tycoon game, but from, like, the cursory look at it, I don't- I haven't played this, this is a blind play. Uh, can I put this in here? Um, this doesn't- this game doesn't strike me as like a tycoon. Transport Tycoon Deluxe does. Um, Industry Giant 2 does. Capitalism does. Uh, I'm blanking. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, there's a lot of games I would put in the Tycoon bucket. This isn't- this might not be one of them, but we'll see. Uh, open? Oh, this is adorable already, I love it. Uh, let's check options. Sh uh, sure... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Cool. Uh, go away? Okay, thanks. Uh, play! Woods, okay. The letters are just gonna be here, huh? Ooh, I'm liking it already. Welcome to Soko Loco. Can I zoom? Okay. That looks good. Okay. Welcome to Soko Loco. In this level, you'll collect three stacks of planks. Uh, okay. Drag right mouse button to pan the camera. Scroll to zoom. Okay, I already... I, I'm already ahead of the game, I think. <laughs> You can also pan with WASD and the arrow keys. Oh, really? Just... Wow. Lots of options. I'm... Five options for scrolling or whatever. I'm loving it. Collect the red suitcase to build. Okay. Maybe I should... I don't know if I should go through the tutorial first or what. Uh, the first option is wooden tracks. Okay. Next is steel tracks. Fast and expensive. The third is a station. Trains load cargo here. Scroll or press R to rotate when building. Alright. Right click with a tool selected to remove. Okay. Draw tracks by clicking and dragging the mouse. Alright. To make a switch, place a curve on a straight track. Finally, use middle mouse button to drop a tool. Like, deselect the tool. To start building a station, start by building a station near a lumber camp. The blue grid shows the area of effect. Okay, let's let's actually start doing this. Okay. So I need to get what can I click on that? Okay. So it has to be within the blue? Is that the deal? Or my blue has to be within their blue? Okay. Uh how what length do I need? Make sure the gathered logs are within the range. Okay, so oop, 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 I clicked twice. Okay, so I just need the logs. Uh, connect the garage and the station with some tracks. Now let's build a train. Okay, I'm not that far yet. Um, okay. So this, I need this to be... I'm trying to min-max space, right? I just need the... Go away? Thanks. And then this is a sawmill. Look at this. Okay, this makes... Gathers logs from woods. Okay. Makes logs into planks. Alright, I'm feeling you so far. Uh... So, will something like this work? I don't know how this works for length. Uh, in TTD, as long as one part of the station is touching, it's considered all touching or something? I don't... 
I don't know how long the station needs to be for the train. I could have a small station and a long train, but stuff takes longer to, to stuff. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, let's build the train. One step at a time, JMEGS. One step at a time. Alright. Uh, click the garage. Okay. Buy a locomotive and press send out. Well, this is going to be hilarious. So let's... Let's do something like that first. Okay. Pulls away against cost three steel. Buy locomotive. Send out. Oh, that's adorable! Uh, that's... I'm kind of blushing with how adorable this is. Then buy a wood wagon and connect it. Wood wagon, cost one steel, carries logs and planks, carries rocks and bricks, carries wheat and bread, carries steel and money. Money! Okay, I need a wood wagon. And I'm guessing send out. Oh, it just connects, okay. You can move the trains by pulling them. <laughs> I'm delighted. I haven't, I haven't even gotten to the game. Like, I don't, I don't know what the game mechanics are, but this is great. Uh, however, the trains won't load in or out this way. That makes sense. Right-click the train to open its menu. Toot. Locomotive button turns on the engine. Locomotive button. Turn on engine. Okay. Still, it will not load in cargo without orders. Click the plus button in the station to add one. Okay. Ideally, this one to get the wood. Okay, now what? If there's a path, the train will go in its order. To its order, okay. Select in the order if it should load in or out. Oh, I see, okay. Load in, delete, okay. Only wagons that are on a station will load. Okay, that's good to know. So two length station is correct? Oh, I don't know if I need three or whatever. Uh, so stations have to be at least two tiles long. Okay, good to know. Your train should have collected some logs. Oh, I'm not that far ahead. Uh, load out. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of that anyway. Um, let's go ahead and build the path. Um, this is level one. I guess I'll just say full disclaimer, when I play like open TTD or something that I know I'm going to have like mega trains, like 200, 300, 400 trains running all over the map, I build big and I build, uh, I guess like I build like a spine, like a, a big middle path with up and, you know, left and right directions, and then anytime I need to make a route, I branch out, kind of a thing. Uh, this is level one or whatever, I don't think it's going to be that complex. So we could just do something like, uh, this. I mean, that, that does it. Looks kind of boring to me, but that'll, I mean, that'll do it. Uh, this is a way to get a train working on a singular path um, because they, they can't turn around? Did I read that right? They can't... Did I assume that? Or did I read that? Uh, train will go. Click the plus. Still, it will not load. Cargo without loading. I don't know if I'm assuming or I've read it or what. Will not load cargo. Click the plus. If there's a path... Okay, I'm, maybe I'm assuming, uh, but we'll see. So, real simple. You just have to get on the trail, my friend. Okay, uh, that's done. Go? How do you go again? Okay. Uh, I don't know how many things we need. But I'm kind of tempted to do something like this. Uh, we'll have to do something different with this track.
Are we doing it? Does it just take you a really, really long time to get logs? What's going on here? Oh, uh... That's not the intended path I wanted, but that's okay. Is there a flip? Mm, I don't know if that's gonna do what I want either. I don't think it... I don't think it ultra matters. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't... I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't have the directionals configured, really. Okay. Uh... This will work with what we've got. Go ahead and put that away. Oh, um... I really hope you don't go backwards. Um, this is gonna be weird. Try it anyway. Yeah, you're coming down here, and then you drop off. And then what I actually want... That's not gonna work. Oh, no! <laughs> I've already screwed up. Can you chill out? They chill out for real reels. Nope. 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 In you go. That's not... Well, okay. Come back. Nope. I need you to get in there. Is this... What does this do? Does this do anything? Okay. That doesn't do what I want. Send out... How do I, s I sell? Nope. 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 <laughs> get in there. Cell train. All right, I wasn't, I wasn't ready. Level complete. Okay. Well, <sighs> no, I'm not done with this level. I shan't have this level best me. Nuts to that noise. Okay. What I'm trying to accomplish is that every single station, there should be a pass-through. Meaning, if a train doesn't need to stop at that location, there should not be a blocker in the way if a train is already at that station. So let's just do this right, because it's going to bother the crap out of me. Bye. Send out. Bye. Send out. Hot damn. Okay. How you do? So now, this train can go either way, there's nothing in the way, but it should take the shorter path. This one has to go here, so it'll go there. There's nothing blocking, it doesn't matter. Perfect, load up. Now, if this guy was still in this station, there's a legal path for this guy to leave. That's the whole idea. That was the whole battle plan about that. Uh, there are no more things to set up? Okay. Huh, that was a little more difficult than I thought that was going to be. <laughs> I'll take that, thanks. Uh, I don't know if there are achievements. Level complete. Gather three stacks of plants. Oh, uh, I should have paid attention to this. Uh, load them out of the sawmill to get planks. I kind of figured that out. Keep in mind, trains can't drive backwards. Okay, that's... That was what I assumed. In, like, open TTD, like, the entire train flips? Backwards? Like, you can just stop the train, reverse the train. Um, in Factorio, it can't turn around, so I think it was going with Factorio rules. Build a loop to let the train go around. I kind of did that. When you make planks, click to collect them. I kind of figured that out. Nice. So that were the that were the basics. Uh, okay. Natural resources eventually die down. Is there a high tutorial? Fast forward. Fast forward's what I want. Okay, so there's no way to tell a train to wait until full or anything, is there? Location, lumber camp, load in, delete. Okay. There's no fancy signaling, there's no circuit networks, there's no rules, there's no orders. Other than go to station, pick up or drop off, go to station, pick up or drop off. That's it. So, this is going to be interesting. For sure. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I'm, I wanted a more simplistic game, and I'm, I'm getting it. 
This isn't nearly as complex as, like, circuit networks or something. It just feels kind of weird I can't also say, just wait until full. But maybe that adds to the charm, and I'm feeling the charm. Okay, uh... That's all fine. Options... So I don't think it's... Signals! There is signals? Signals turn red with the train. Okay, so we'll get to signals eventually. Building, you already knew that. Okay. Go away. Do I just quit? Is that... Oh! I have a star now. Three stars to unlock. Use star. Uh, I don't know what that means. Well, bread, bread and butter. See, this is last time people were already assigned to a job. Okay, can I zoom in? Yeah, right, okay. Uh, normally people start in a city. Okay. Click on a farm or a lumber camp to assign someone. How many people? Two people, okay. To get more people, bring bread to a city center. Click on the city center to see its population. Is it a chicken? It's a chicken. I swear to God that there that there's a beautiful chicken. Okay, we have two people. We don't have any food reserve. We need to fill it for a new house. Got it. When its food reserve is full, a new house is built. Okay, that seems very straightforward. Your job is to gain another three people. Okay. Transport wheat and bread with a food wagon. Okay, good. I, right, there are other wagons. The higher the population, the faster bread is eaten. That makes a lot of sense. Streamline your system to get that last citizen. Lastly, you can build on city roads. Good to know. Good luck! Thanks. This is new. What does this do? Regenerate? Oh! Uh, that's not what I intended to do with that button. Well, I mean, okay. If it's a mechanic of the game, sure. Do you want stuff more spread out, maybe? This is adorable. I'm loving just the charm of it, like... The controls seem fine, the mechanics seem fine, the music is on point? I mean... I'm honestly trying to draw some criticism here, and I cannot find any. None so far, anyways. The dorbs. Okay, I want to know something. Three workers, three workers. Three workers... Three workers. Okay, the amount of... Fo so I'm thinking, like, uh... Rise of Nations, right? The more workers that can be assigned to a woodcutter is dependent on how big the forest is. How much control the woodchopper has to the forest. Same thing with how many can you assign to mining. Well, how big is the mountain? How many minerals are there? Blah, blah, blah. So I thought it was something like that, but this just must be the longevity of the woodcutter or whatever. Uh, this seems very tight. Let's try something else. This also seems kind of tight, but okay. Uh, 50 blocks. So what I'd like to do is I would love to do a network all the way around the outside and then branch off where we talk to and communicate with other stuff. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, should I go, like, way big? Should we go, like, three slots? How many? 26? It takes two, so 13. Probably not. Probably not, so... This music is so, so good. So I'll show you what I mean by spine. So I got this spine here. I keep saying the word spine, it's about to lose all meaning, am I right? Uh, the idea behind this is we have a main conduit with which trains transport on. And if ever a train needs to bunce off and go somewhere else, they just can. But the main thoroughfare hopefully stays true and empty. That's that's the hopeful plan behind it. Um, this is going to be a bit expensive because I need to loop it all the way around for one circuit to connect. Um, if you catch my drift. Can I, okay, I can delete and get the same monies back. Excellent. Um, well, the game, yeah, I've already over-ambitioned myself to penniless. Um, what the game really wants me to do is build this in small chunks and let it build up. Damn it, I shall. I can't even be mad. I mean, I'm not even I'm not even an angry kind of gamer. This is just too good. Here's music, too good. Oh crap. Um How am I gonna get this up there? Well, we're gonna do the disappearing trick. 
Oh, we have enough stuff. Perfect. Okay. Nothing need disappear. Hi. I need... Oh, uh, send out... I'm really used to... doing open TTD where I configure the entire train and then send the train out. It's just weird to have it like this. Uh, go, my son. So we're not- oh, I need workers. Right. The whole plot, the whole freaking story arc behind this thing is I need- <laughs> I need workers. Yeah, you've got nothing. Uh, so scram. Really, really happy I don't have to fart around with fuel, unless that's a hidden thing I wasn't aware of. Uh, slopes and bridges? I didn't even consider bridges and slopes and crap. Can I... I love all the little audio gems. Also, I noticed when I signed workers, I got an aww. Hey, music sounds good. Maybe a little loud, but it's still good. Okay, we got our first lumba. I like how it's jiggly. I like how everything in this game is jiggly. Jiggly. I don't know why. That word brings a lot of joy to my heart. I don't know why. Um, I played Slime Rancher. Jiggly. Everything's jiggly. It's great. Um, Stardew Valley. I married Emily in my first playthrough. And the thing that stole my heart completely was it's one of the festivals. And there's a jello mold on the table and it's jiggling. And she's dancing like right next to it. And I'm like, holy crap. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I don't understand it. But I love that woman. And I'm going to make... We're all we're going to be husband and wife. And it's going to be great. And I was just so... Uh, blushed about it. It's just, I don't know what's happening, but this is adorable. Uh, cool. So that maintains the continuity of that for a while. For a while. And we're just gonna keep this party going on. Uh, okay. We can build our food station. Like that, yeah. For right now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't have anything going there anyway. Uh, I'm out of planks. Okay. I can't take while... Uh, stuff is happening. So the idea behind this is... I'll get another train going on. Uh, I don't know if I need two cargoes. I don't know how much cargo this can hold. Gathers yeah, logs. I got that. But, I mean, there's some of these routes the train isn't even doing anything. And by doing this, we've already set the framework for all the other stops. When we get to the farm, we'll just branch out a little bit here. Boom. Farm. Get to the windmill? I was gonna say... Yeah. I was gonna say mill, but anyway. Uh, branch a little off. Boom. We're done. Here? Boom. We're done. And then everything just has its own thing. Um, like I said, in TTD and other games... Um, if you're having a problem with throughput, just add more trains. That almost sounded like that rhymed. Not quite there phonetically. But it almost sounded like it rhymed. I love the audio. Hey. It's a really nice touch. I like it. Is it necessary and integral to the game for the game to matter? No, it isn't at all, but it's really cute. Really freaking cute. Okay, let's turn up the speed a little bit. Yeah, I'm overbuilding, but that's kind of my playstyle. <laughs> Oh, the audio for the them working is also sped up. That's really cute. Okay, let's turn that sucker down. 
Almost. We're we need one more piece. Literally one more piece. This music is just dope. It sets the mood just beautifully. I don't uh, words can't describe. I mean they can. It's beautiful. Oh, you know what? This is kind of a waste because I don't have enough workers to make this happen anyway. Right. It sounds like he's saying the F word. <laughs> Which is even cuter. Um, so ideally, this is how this is going to work, right? Uh, you... Cannot figure out where to go next. Uh, it literally sounds like he's saying the F word. And it's adorable. Oh, I see. It was curved the other way. Uh, they will only go when they can make it, apparently. So that's good to know. They'll at least check their path and be like, I don't have a route. So now what I'm kind of waiting on is, I guess, a little bit more lumber so I can get the wheat bread thing going on, right? Uh, I have enough for five more. So let's do if this is if this is the whole plot line, right? Let's do it like that. And that's within range? Feels like it's within range. Cool. Now this has to come down here a little awkwardly. Uh, because I need to get here, right? Is this... that's the farm. I'm gonna guess this is the thing I need to care about. So this is gonna be a little... Yeah, I can't build through any of that. So this is going to be a little awkward, but that's okay. The idea of my systems is everything comes back to the spine. So that way, whenever we need to add new systems or new paths or new whatever, it's very, very simple, right? We just keep adding another section. But the spine is what costs the most money. And that's what's already built. Okay, let's speed this up just a little more. I'm not terribly impatient, but I don't want to sit here just sitting here. Okay. Um, there's really no way for me to cancel or put you away or something. Skip. Oh, skip a station. Okay. Uh, not really. So here's what we're gonna do. Yay! <laughs> yay! yay! <laughs> That's adorbs. Okay, the sawmill didn't require workers. Does this require workers? It does not. Excellent. Hey, how you doing? Um... Oh, uh, you're not gonna work the way I want you to work. Can you just go there and stay there? What if I delete your orders? Because I just did. Mmm, that's not desirable at all. <laughs> Can I... Yeah, load in and load out. What does that do? Like, you're not gonna pick anything up. Okay, it's just gonna be annoying, is what that's gonna be. Alright. 
Uh, sure. Whatever. Um, I need a new train. Send out. I need a wood wagon. Wood wagon, yep. Send that sucker out, yo. Check how it just clicks. This is all moving kind of fast. Oh, right, I still had fast forward on. <laughs> and then I need a... Loco? Move, move, move! Quick! Uh, let's test something. Cool. They can't hurt each other. Excellent. They don't just die. Uh, neat. So the idea is we can add a lot more trains on this. I keep calling it a spine because that's how I think of it. And then it can just spread out as it needs. Oh, there's already a bread? Awesome. Cool. They just bump into each other. Uh, we already would have had casualties like crazy if this was open TTT. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. This is the thing I was trying to bring up before is trains should not be blocked by anything else. The issue we have here is there's a blockage. And that's not cool. Because the other trains are like, move over, idiot. And then the guy's like, I need to unload my stuff. So how about you wait a second? And then it just, it just doesn't happen. So I'm going to manually slow this guy down a little. Uh, what is happening? I thought I clicked unload. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. One, two, three. Three to take that up. Uh-oh, I only have enough for, uh, one thing now. Uh, which is not enough for me to do stuff. Oh no, what happened to one bread? One bread turned green? New home, hot dang. Okay. Um. How are we gonna do this? Oh, uh, I guess I don't need lumber anymore, do I? There we go. That's how we're gonna do this. So it looks like they're still prioritizing shortest distance, which isn't ideal. I could just shut you off, right? Uh, if I'm actually done with lumber? Actually, I'm, I'm not done with lumber. Shucks deluxe, dog. How many people do I need? Well, I need more food than that, that's for certain. Hold up. Okay, you're doing the that. Okay, there we go. Everyone has a purpose, everything has a thing. Good shiz. Alright, I need this to awkwardly be awkward. I swear I'm hearing F-bombs. It's hilarious. Uh, dude, you had nothing to drop off. Just go. <laughs> so it looks like no matter what, the trains are prioritizing the shortest distance. So I'll have to loop this up and around to convince the train it's shorter. Are you still... you're not even... okay. Because I'm hoping this guy will go around and he bloody doesn't. Because he's rude AF. Rude... attitude. I swear, I'm hearing F-bombs. <laughs> uh, it's adorable. I'll take that, thanks. Okay, let's see if this works. Actually, this isn't shorter either. This is actually worse. Uh, okay, I know what I think I have to do. There. Change your reverso. Mm. 
There we go. Okay. That's how that works. Um, then I'll need to do the same thing with this. Convince these guys this route is shorter. What? Two curves can't curve into each other? Okay. There we go. Now the train can unload safely. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, good. Good. Uh, okay. I didn't even check any of our production line. How are we doing here? You picked up a wheat, a bread. You picked up a bread. Now you go up there, you drop off the bread. We are keeping up with demand, but we're not making any more. We need more wheat. Okay, so I do need to do this. Uh, can you split off? You can't split up. Okay. Uh, easy fix, and it's fine. It's literally not that big of a deal. Two breads. Hopefully one of them doesn't go bad. Oh, we might beat the level right here. Nope. Nope, but we're in really good shape. Super good shape. Nope. Nope. I want the... No. G give me the... Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was hard for no reason at all. <laughs> ah, delightful. Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of scribbles. Okay. Oh, that's a very... <laughs> that's a very dumb victory, because I need that anyway to build a new train. So that actually didn't help me accomplish butts. Okay, so they'll, the workers will go to other places to get more lumber, so that's cool. I thought they were stuck to, like, a very small area. Uh, now that I know what I know, I should have... I should have done this a little differently, but that's okay. That's the fun of learning. That's the fun of trying something new. Because I didn't know what to expect and all that and all that. There's that. Hello, friend! I need the locomotive and I need to send it out. I need to get out of the wheat so then the people scream and shout. Uh, click. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I don't have workers. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, when you make it there, I'm gonna shut you off. Oh, actually, let's turn you on. Then I'm gonna shut you off when you get to the wood station. Maybe that's how I give, like, orders, like, I don't want to delete the train, I don't need the resources, but I just need the train to not be doing things? Perfect. That works. I'm very satisfied with that. This game is so cute! So we'll get one bread this go-around, and then the next path we'll get two breads, and that should beat it. Oh, this might beat it right here. Nope. Just, we're just barely behind. But yeah, we should have two fresh breads. Sweet breads! Bread bread! Can I get a bread bread? Bread bread. It also makes a whew sound whenever, when it's done. Bread bread! That's also what the trains are going. They're not going choo-choo, they're going bread bread! That should do us, I think. That'll get us uh, another person. Hey, nice. Uh, cool. Uh, the farms can't be upgraded any further, so I don't know what else there'd be to even do here. So I'm gonna call that complete. This game is stupidly delightful. I very much appreciate and enjoy this. This is very, very cute. What does this do? Nothing? Okay. 
Uh, anyway, let's call this our first episode. Uh, I need to get a couple things personally figured out with work and stuff, and I'd rather take care of that before work be all, like, interrupting and stuff. So, let's call this here. Thank you all for joining me. My name's John Megacycle. Another episode... Oh, no. I keep saying it again. <laughs> first episode of Soko Loco Deluxe. It's in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.